All right, today's video, we are going to cover uh, the automation of rebuilding indexes or reorganizing indexes based on certain thresholds that you want to set. In the previous video, we talked about how to check the fragmentation of an index and when you should uh, rebuild versus reorganize the, uh, the index. And uh, both of these queries will be on our GitHub professor pitch. There'll also be a, a link in the description of this video so that if you, can, if you just wanna download the script, uh, have at it. All right. So um, in the past, uh, uh, in the previous video, I showed this script here that will show us the any index that's fragmented that has a page count over 500. Uh, so we indeed we're going to use these two today for this video. Um, we have one that's 44% fragged or fragmented, one that's less than 10%, but it's above the 5% that we normally uh, set a threshold for. All right, so we've run this. We're gonna go over to our automated script. So first thing we wanna do is we want to build a temp table and we're gonna use a global temp table. I usually use global temp tables by default. I think most people do local. Um, all right, so we're gonna, we, ha we have the, the temp table that we're gonna set up. We're gonna store some information. And then step two, we're gonna go grab that information. So very similar to what we have over here uh, on checking the index fragmentation. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, run this script here. We're gonna insert some data into our temp table. Let's go ahead and uh, run both of these together. Execute, oh, looks like there is, let's drop this table and then we'll rebuild it. Actually, I probably didn't even need to do that. Could have just inserted all right so now we have two rows in there let's take a look at this temp table um, as you can see we've got the database the schema the table name index name fragmentation record count and page counts all right so step four we're going to build um, this is where we're going to build the sql query uh, based on the index fragmentation we have the uh, for us we have the fragmentation uh, you can set this to 35 i'm gonna set this to five um, so this this top part is going to rebuild all indexes where the fragmentation is um, greater than 35 so right here as you can tell row one this index here we will rebuild and then step two of our case statement where the fragmentation is greater than five um, will be this one so we're going to reorganize this one we're going to rebuild this one and all right so let's so we need to change our where clause here to only show for indexes where fragmentation is greater than five all right so let's uh let's run this and then step five this isn't this is for data warehouses that are very large uh, what this is going to do is this is going to uh, set the length of the variable that we're going to run that's going to contain the SQL query to a certain length um, in the event that you have a large data warehouse where maybe you have, I don't know, 50, 100 different indexes over the course of several different tables. If you're trying to do a catch all rebuild, uh, this is this is where you can tune this piece of the query to offset that. Table indexes. Ah, we need to run this together. Uh, let's see up here step four we're gonna run all these so all the way down to uh here we're just this is where we're just checking the variable itself and this is what the variable is going to look like so let me open up a new window actually i can just i'll just copy it down here and what this is doing is it's building a sql query and you can see it's got your two basic alter indexes one re rebuild and then one with reorganize and with that being stored in the variable we're going to run all these together actually we're going to comment this out we're going to run uh, the last step is execute store procedure execute sql um so we get to step four in theory you, you would just want to run this whole thing to, uh, as one all right we're going to hit uh execute and it is done so now let's go back to our previous query and execute this and you can see the fragmentation is down to zero all right. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, uh, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, like I said, you can get these scripts from the description of this video. Thanks for watching.